well, we got our game going. Okay, uh, Ecoline and Saturn Systems. Uh, I'll have to look at the Twitch latency in a minute. All right, I'm going to just look at Ecoline because I never play Ecoline. Um, wow, Ecoline Arctic Algae. That's pretty good. And Noctis City and Commercial District. All right, well, this might be... This might be the eco line. This might be the best eco line hand I've ever seen. I almost never take eco line, but we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna go insects because that card's amazing. Cupola, algae, Noctis, and um, question is, do I take? Do I take uh, commercial district? I think I am going to take bushes. The thing about bushes is that it's going to be doubly good because it'll work with insects. Um, the question is, what do I take here in terms of cities? Should I take? An urbanized area, I actually don't like. It's actually great having both of these in my hand because uh, these are usually cards that can can really mess you up uh, if you're trying to lay a bunch of ground game. But I can just bury them. Commercial district is good though. I mean, it, it a bump of four to your economy. I think though, with just Noctis and Cupola, I'll have enough money production. <laughs> Dude, everyone loves bushes. Um, Throw it a high GL. That's a tough one. Um, hmm. I think I'm just gonna go with these. Ecoline does not start with a lot of money. Uh, I'm gonna take commercial district. Commercial district is good. I'll still have enough money to play uh, Arctic on turn one. So, all right, let's try that. All right, well this this could be cool. All right, I'm gonna pull up my Twitch stream here and see if I can get rid of this latency. Let's see here. I was looking on Streamlabs, but now I'm, I'm pretty confident it has to be on Twitch. Um, let me look at our settings here. Oh, also, I'm not seeing our chat on, uh, oh yeah, it's over there, sorry. Um, <laughs> well, we already got the bushes joke out of the way, and I got some ice cubes over here, so that's coming too. All right, here we go. So let's see here, channel and video, um, normal latency. No, it's already on low latency. Yeah, it's already on the lowest latency mode, so unfortunately, um, I can't make it any uh, can't make it any faster than that. But all right, cool. Well, this should be fun. I almost never play Eco Line. This could be a disaster. Uh, I, I have to confess, ground game is not my strong suit, nor do I particularly like it. Um, but having Noctis in your opener is great. It means that I can start laying down uh, tiles around here and know that at least this side's protected. Um, I guess another option would be to lay, you know, try and lay a tile here and play a city here and get the dual cities here. So these are worth two points each. But I kind of like just laying the, the first plant here. 
Um, uh oh, he could take my spot. Okay, good. All right, did not. Oh, that's interesting. Um, oh, that makes sense because he just wants the bonuses. That's that's good play for him. I guess I kind of lucked out. I'm hoping that nobody plays an ocean first because I want to get that arctic algae down. All right, so priorities for me next turn are going to be some form of power. Because uh, I, I do want to get a city down quickly if I can. Oh, man, bummer. That's unfortunate. That's like the, that's like the worst one for me. Nice start for uh, Phobolog. All right, well, this is still worth it. I'll still get a lot of plants out of this. All right. Archaebacteria. Okay. Tardigrades. Not a card I love, but I'm actually, you know, it's not that bad. I, I mean, there's, there's some, th I mean, if you play it on turn one, it's not terrible, I guess. All right, so cheap energy would be amazing because it will it would really vault us forward in terms of our money production if we can lay down uh, some of those uh, some of those cities. Six plants is a dangerous place to be. I guess I do lead off next turn, so if they don't hit my plants this turn, then they won't be able to, but. Okay, ooh, protected Habs. Who am I passing to here? Even down, so I'm passing to mining. That's actually fortunate. I think I'd rather pass Vesta to mining air, to this guy. I'm gonna take protected Habs. I mean, this is, this is the, this is the time that you want it. Um, protected Habs is actually pretty good because uh, it will it will um, allow me to just uh, you know save up a bunch of plants and and be a little bit more tactical about how I, I deploy them. Also, I don't like. I see players play eco line sometimes, and they end up playing. They end up going into space or something. And I don't, I don't think that's very good. Um, all right, now pets is interesting. So sponsors, again, no energy. Unfortunately, tropical resort not gonna be good for us. Uh, that's tough. Pets is good. Um, and I, I'm planning to play a bunch of cities, or at least two. But we're just gonna be so money crunched. I think it's just sponsors. Um, try and get some money going. This cost me eight and I'll get back 16 over the course of the game. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take sponsors. I mean, just Ecoline starts with so little cash. You need you need a way to generate cash. I think cash is more important to me right now than points. I try and catch up at the end on ground game. I don't know. That could that could be a cor incorrect. Let me know if you guys disagree with that. Um, I don't think my instincts are great for for ground game. 
Okay. Unfortunately, no no power. Okay, good. I'm glad 222 that you agree with me. Um, so we did not get any power out of that, unfortunately. Um, I guess I'll just take Neptune Probe. I don't really care if people play Carbonate Processing, and in fact, in some ways, it kind of helps me because I have some of the I have bushes and kind of want people to. Um, I don't know, raise the heat a little bit. So I guess this turn just going to be sponsors and protected halves. So I have 26. So I'll take protected halves and sponsors. That's 11. And then these guys will take 11 to, to pay for. Oh, mine came around. So let's see here. If I take this is 11. OK, so let's see. This would cost me 9. I'd be at um, 17. And I'd still have enough to play these two, so I think I'm taking mine too. Actually, I have enough to play all three. If I did that math correctly, like nine would take me to 17, and I have enough to do just this. Yeah, I think I'm taking those. Um, that'll be a good turn for me. So I definitely want to get my, hopefully Phobolog doesn't hit my plants on this opener. Uh, he's got 30 cash, of it. Oh, actually 32 cash available, so I think he could deem us down me. That would be unfortunate <laughs> um, if I can make it one if I could just make it to my turn here Yeah, if um, <laughs> if this guy plays Demos down and hits all my plants, I'm gonna be so bummed. He will have cost me ten plants so far. Honestly, that could that could that could be the difference in the game. But um, okay, lunar beam, safe so far. And tardigrades. Okay, all right. My plants are safe. So let's go ahead and get uh, let's get protected halves down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get sponsors down. So what are my priorities? I, I, I just feel like my main priority is to get to get uh, Cupola City down so that I can um, start generating some income. I will play mine though. I mean, I've got all of these cards that uh, that require steel. Nice start for mining guild. I bet he's got Vesta Shipyard too as his next play. Cold fungus. Okay. Probably already, yeah, smoked on Builder. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's ESC Consortium? Mining, um, Munson, what's, uh, what's ESC Consortium?
Yeah, I did. Someone did steal it from me. I still won, though. Uh, but uh, they did. Actually, I played a game last night. I didn't record it because I was tired and I just wanted to. Uh, but I got hit in that one, too. Oh, yeah, no, not Greatest Card. Um, no, I always, the one that always gets me is the uh, Asteroid Mining Consortium. That one's so annoying. Somehow the other one doesn't bother me as much, although although it's still pretty bad. Uh, Mining Guild has a nice start. I love Mining Guild, man. That's it's. I don't think it's that great. I mean, it's it's very uh, dependent on the cards that you have in your opener, but I, I love playing it. It's so fun. It just changes the way you do all your picks. Okay, so let's see here. Um, interesting picks here. So I'm protected... I'm protected on protected Hab, so I don't need to take Asteroid. Um, I could take Robotic Workforce, although I kind of like Nitrophilic Moss. Um, it's something that I could play probably this turn or next turn soon. And it also is going to give me another plant tag for um, Insects. And I think there's a non-zero chance that cloud seeding will come around. I don't... Let's see here. Does anybody have heat production yet? Yeah, Phobolog does. So I think I'm just going to take Nitrophilic Moss. And I, I think there's a decent chance that cloud seeding comes around. Um, okay. Earth tags. I've got one. No more in hand. Again, no power. Um, I think just in a vacuum, I just take the Miranda Resort. Just keep the keep those tags out of people's hands. Man, I really could use some power. It's unfortunate that I, those aren't coming around. I guess I'll just have to go about my business. AI Central can't pass that one. Although Ecological Zone is actually pretty good for me. Um, both with Protected Habs and the fact that I'm planning to play several of these things. Uh, I don't like passing this either, but I don't think people are going to take this. I'm just going to keep AI Central out of somebody's hands. I don't. I don't think anybody has enough tags for that to be very dangerous right now, but that card can get out of hand. Yeah, CPO, I think EcoZone would have been a consideration, there's no doubt. But I just, I don't like passing AI Central that early. Wow, Workforce came around. That's surprising. Um, well... I'm pretty tight on cash. I think I'd rather not take Workforce. I'm definitely taking Moss. I think that's all I'm going to take. I do like Robotic Workforce, but I just don't really have a way to abuse it. Like, mine's okay, but it's not amazing. I'm just going to take Moss here. Um, well, what am I doing this turn? I think I... I'm not sure I really want to play these plants. What if I... I just don't... I have very little money. I think I might just pass this entire generation. I'll be at 10 on my plants on the next one. I mean, the only thing is if somebody plays an ocean, I want to be able to piggyback off of that. Mining Guild has only, he does not have much cash, but he's got a lot of steel. One consideration is that I could plan to play Cupola here and then play um, the uh, commercial zone here. Kind of like that. I 
has 15, he's got 16, so nobody has a lot of money. I guess if I played something here and somebody played a city here, which would be pretty annoying, I could still play commercial district here or here. I do want to reserve this spot because God, just throwing a naked city out there though I don't I don't love that because if somebody did start taking this I could move I could just move my plans around I'm just gonna pass this turn I don't know if that's right but I, I just feel like I'd rather have more control It will be annoying if somebody plays an ocean because I could have gotten that that uh, moss down. But uh, that is the price that will have to be paid. Mohole, okay. Nice, nice play for the mining guild player. He's got a nice start. Fortunately, though, the, he has not taken the key areas for me. I've been a little lucky because I have a space player, Phobolog, who I, I think, you know, appropriately is kind of moving into that direction. And then I've got Mining Guild that's snapping up all the tile placement bonuses, um, which is away from the central strip where I really want to be focusing Ecoline. I mean, another option would be just to go ahead and drop... Cupola. Okay, good. Um, to drop Cupola separate from where Noctis is. Um, and just really try and take all of these just high, high, uh, high, high benefit double green slots. Um, man, we really need some power. I, that is just going to be so so important for us. Hey, thanks, Q. I was waiting for you to jump in. I was gonna I was gonna have you Skype in. I'm trying a whole new strategy, trying ground game. I thought you'd be proud of me, you know, expanding my, my horizons. Also, uh, Q, our video is going to be posted hopefully pretty soon. We're going to get that going. For those of you who don't know, Q is on the, sh on the show. Okay, tech stress power, and I have no science tags. Ah, it's frustrating. I can't play GHG uh, because again, that's I'm I'm limited on oxygen. Now I'm now I'm wishing I had kept robotic workforce. I'm gonna take tech stress power. I I don't know what's coming around. It it it's a little bit of a bummer passing arrow breaking, but again. Uh, I'm okay with it. All right, there's Olympus Conference. That's my first tag. So I need two. I need two science tags. All right, I'm taking Olympus Conference. It's gonna be. It's gonna delay me a whole turn to get those. I'm just gonna cut Mangrove. Ah, man, the draft has not been great for me so far. I could, I could just buy a power. I may be forced to. All right, so the question is, do I take tectonic stress power? 
I mean, the thing about it is that it's so good for me because it turns on all three of my of my power requiring cards. And they're really gonna jump me on cash, but I'm still a science tag short. If I take these two. Oh, all right, I'm gonna take those. And I guess I'm gonna delay one more turn. I mean, another option is I could just throw down commercial district over here and draw a card. Hmm. It's tricky. I guess it depends a little bit on what other people do. If another ocean comes down this turn, I'm going to be inclined to um, to get a city down because I've, I'm going to have so many plants at that point. Like if I play, if a single ocean comes down, I can play two plants. Yeah, there's the pets. I have to keep in mind that this mining guild player has so much st uh, steel production. One thing I'm going to want to do is cut good steel cards because they're going to be essentially free for that person. I don't think it makes a lot of sense for me to play Olympus Conference right now because I, it doesn't do anything for me functionally. I mean, until I have a second science tag, it doesn't turn on tech stress power. So it doesn't. it just doesn't really do anything for me. I'm I'm so uninterested in paying 11 for a, a standard project power, but it might be worth it here. Hmm. Gosh, do I just pass a whole nother generation? It seems so bad, but it, it will really set me up if I do. Um, if I just pay 11 and then drop Cupola, it costs me 27 and I get a bump of three. It's just so bad. I mean, because I can, that 11 gets me halfway to tech stress power. Yeah, I think I'm just passing again. It seems so bad, but nobody's challenging me on anything else. I'm passing, I'm just gonna pass. Oh man, I really need some power. This hand would have been amazing if I had had a way to get some power going. Maybe I'm being too stubborn and I should have just paid it out. But I have I just have like what feels to me like kind of a combo y hand where um you know, like I can go I don't know, if I have enough money I can kinda of go like cheap science tag, conference, tech stress power, noctis, drop two plants. Like that's a pretty good turn for me. And I'm basically in that I'm in that zone I just need something to give me some power and I'm, I'm reluctant to like piecemeal add to the board because I don't want to give these guys time to mess up my grid when I have such a such a powerful set of cards to play down for ground game and the protected Habs means that there's no danger in floating these plants all right Give me some power here. No power. All right, so I'm passing up to Phobolog. Um, I guess I'm just cutting alloys. 
it's not very good for me, but it is another science tag if I ch choose to go that way. Okay. All right. Research now is pretty good. I do like research. Um, I'll leave towing a comment for those guys. They can have it. Now, research gets me both tags. So I can play research into tech power. All right. So that's what I needed. Research is actually an amazing draw because it's a cheap double science tag. So I'm glad I waited. So I'll go, I'll go research, power, and then I'll have to decide where I'm going to lay out my empire. Um, Zeppelins could be good in this game. Although this thing looks like it's going to be pretty good too. These guys don't have any plant production. Oh no, Mining Guild does. This is greater than 8%. I'm going to pass that and take Zeppelins. I think there's an outside chance that I could get Banker in this game. I like With, with the, the combination of cards that I have, I'm going to have pretty high money production. Alright, so I'm going to get Research. Do I take Zeppelins? There's already one city on the board. I'm about to play two more. Uh, I'm going to pass on that. I want all my money right now. Well, I don't know. This is a tough pick. I'm, I'm going to pass on it. I just feel like uh, timing here is going to be so... I just need all this money right now. I, I haven't done anything for two generations, so I've got, to, I've got to use all these cards in my hand. I can't be buying more. I am going to have a good turn this turn, though, particularly if somebody... Well, it doesn't even matter if somebody plays an ocean because I'm going to get the tile bo bonuses here. I'm going to be able to play a couple plants. So I, after this turn, I'm going to be in a good spot for Gardener and for Mayor. So what I really want to focus on is making this grid with Noctis. So I'm going to go, maybe I'm going to go. Arrow breaking. I did pass him that. That could be bad. That's a good card. All right. So I'm going to start off with here is research. It does kind of suck to give up the double trigger off of research off of this thing, but um, money is more important for me right now. Let's see what we drew. Okay. So what I really want to do is wait these guys out this turn because I, I want to be able to control exactly how I deploy everything. Um, so I'm kind of thinking now it's it kind of it's not great to have a city against the periphery. So I'm, maybe I'm thinking now, going city city plant plant, right off the bat. It makes my um, mining district a little bit worse. But I can play like if I drop a city here and play a plant, and then I play another plant. All right, I think he went power. Yeah, okay. Strip mine. Okay. He's definitely building a production engine. Is that most of his money? No, he's still got some money. Man, he's got a good... He's got a good... Uh, that seven uh, steal a turn is great for him. So I am going to have some money production after this turn too, hopefully. So I'm going to play, if I play tech stress power and cupola, this is going to cost me 30, 28, 34. And I've got three steel. I might have enough for commercial district too. OK. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and get tech stress power down. All right, so let's see here. I have 33 cash, so yeah, Cupola and Commercial District, I can get out this turn. So if I play, if I play Cupola, I mean, another option would be to play This is complicated with these city configurations, but I, I I think I like I think I like Coupler on, on the left under Noctis. You mean uh, Cupola? You mean that's what I'm thinking. Although I kind of like Cupola here too, because the thing is, uh oh, oh man, he could totally screw me. Ah, okay. That's annoying. All right, well now I'm definitely gonna play Cupola here because now the city's protected. So Noctis will just soak up these. So I'll go, um, yeah, and I don't have to worry about, and actually I could lay plants out like this to prevent somebody from playing a city here. So I'm gonna go Cupola District, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna play this guy here. Now, I have most of the hate cards that go between here, so I'm not gonna play this first. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, plant down here. Just to prevent people from hating that spot, which is gonna be an important spot for me. And what I might do is actually just build my next plant here to prevent somebody from putting a city there. So that, that's going to be a nice turn for me, though, because it's going to get my money production up quite a bit. So these guys are at 14, 17, plus 4. It's pretty good. All right, so he's basically done this turn. So I'm going to get Commercial District down. And I'm going to play, let's see here. Be seven, so it'd leave me two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this RC Amans here for the moment. That's puts that puts me one away. So like if somebody plays an ocean, I'll be able to play another tile. And I might just get Noctis down early. Like I might play it next turn. Because it sets me up for mayor, but it also it's gonna give me the plants that I need to get another plant. So that'll set me up for gardener and mayor. And I'm going to be able to get insects going pretty early in this game, which is nice. I've already got two, two plant tags, and nitrophilic moss will certainly come down before I play insects. That bumped me up pretty high. All 
Okay, I think that's all I got this turn. Still, nobody's playing those ocean tiles. It's unfortunate. If I had been able to get down um, that arctic algae before that guy played uh, asteroid or whatever, I would already have my third plant down. Okay, so what do I want here? Um, I do want to get down Noctis this turn. And another city would be good too. 32 cash. Do I stick with the plan of trees? I don't really care if people take this. I don't need adaptation technology. Um, acquired companies okay, but again, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna play it. I think I'm just going trees. I think uh, I think we're on the on the plant train here. So what I want are trees and cities because I'm gonna need places to put all these plants. Um, and I quickly want to surround Noctis City before people start hating those spots too. Um, okay. Immigration shuttles, worms. I don't think I have any microbe stuff. Um, do I care about colonizer training camp? I, I just don't really want to pass immigration shuttles. I think I'm going to take immigration shuttles. I think that card is going to be good in this game too. It's going to be worth a few points. So what are my interests this turn? I want to play Noctis, play another plant. Artificial lake. That might be good in this game, actually. Um, do I care if somebody hits my plant production? I'm going to have so much plant production, I don't think it matters if somebody wants to take the point. Artificial lake could be good at negative six, and we still have... I'm going to take that. I think the lake might be good in this game. Okay, wild card company came around. So I don't think I'm gonna take shuttles. Um, that's just too expensive. We're generation six, game's gonna probably end on turn 11 or something, maybe 10 or 11. So if I play, this cost me 13, it would take me five turns to get my money back out of it. I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna take trees and lake. And then the question is, do I even want those? Do I want artificial lake? This would put me at... Yeah, I think it's probably worth it. The heat's gonna go up quickly. I'm gonna take those two. So I'm gonna start with Noctis and I'm gonna get, a pl I'm gonna get this uh, two point city placement down. This also prevents somebody from playing a city up here, which would be annoying. They could play it here and leech off me, but that's fine. I have the cash to play Noctis. And that should give me another plant. All right, so that's good. So in terms of uh, builder, I think is already lost. Planner, nobody's really going for. Terraformer, nobody's really going for. So I really should have the inside track on gardener and mayor. Um, 
And I, if somebody plays an ocean this turn, I could get Nitrophilic Moss down. I probably should have done those. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. All right, yeah, I have to say I don't generally like playing Ecoline, but this so far this has been pretty fun. Um, yeah, I did pass the building industries. That's fine. Uh-oh, I hope you took, uh, hope you didn't take mine. Ah, oh, he took mine. <laughs> what a jerk. Um, all right, I think I'm just gonna pass here. I could take Gardener, but I don't really need to do it yet. Nobody's challenging me, so I'm just gonna pass and keep that cash available. I'm not sure why that guy came after mine. All right, so I would love to play a card that lets me play an ocean on the next turn. Now that I start, I'm having this uh, sort of sequence out here. Uh, something that would let me play an ocean would be great uh, because then I could get my nitrophilic moss going. Yeah, I would also contribute to the heat if there were cards that let me bump the heat because I do want to. I, it is definitely in my interest to get this heat going up with the cards that I have in hand, and then also um, anything that lets me. Um, ooh, that's a good bump for him. Anything that lets me um, place cities down because I'm going to need to carve out more space for all these plants that I'm planning to play. Um, I guess the I guess the my the Phobolog player is just thinking like this guy's so far ahead it doesn't matter to take one from him and I guess that's probably true. I think he's probably the right thing to t hit mine although it's kind of annoying. Um I'm definitely behind in terms of uh economy from these guys, but I am I am in a better spot I think for milestones. Um than, than most of them. All right, so any kind of city would be great. Um, I don't, again, I'm gonna run into power problems again. I don't think I have a way to get more power. Let's see what we got. Water splitting plant. Do these guys have no power, one power? It's always kind of bad to pass water splitting plants. I don't know, know if I'm gonna play moss at this point. I think I'm just gonna take this, the plant. It's just so bad for me if people start bumping the oxygen because I wanna soak up as much oxygen as I can with my own uh, greenery production. 
So I think what I want to do this this turn is probably just if, if nobody does anything, I'm just going to standard project an ocean tile. Um, it gets me to it, it turns on my nitrophilic moss. It gives me enough to play um, another plant. Although, yeah, because I can I can go nitrophilic moss. No, I I'd play the ocean tile, play my plant on one of these tiles here, and then I'd have two plants exactly to do nitrophilic moss. So. Ideally, I would pick up some way to play an ocean tile right now. That'd be amazing. And I'm getting close to being able to turn bushes on. And then if I get bushes and moss, then well, I'm almost at insects here. So I have two. I think I would play, I would play insects for a bump of three. I'm not going to hold out for four. So yeah, I'm, my hand really turns on right now if I can get an ocean tile down. Okay, wow. Water imports and greenhouses. I mean, I, I think I have to take greenhouses. Like, this card's not only is it great, but it also is another plant tag for um, for my insects. It does kind of it is a little bit of a bummer passing water imports, but on the other hand, like if somebody wants to start dropping ocean tiles, I'm like okay with it because of my. Uh, oh wow! Someone passed stronghold. Stronghold's pretty good. I'm gonna take it. I don't usually play corporate stronghold, but I think in this game I will. Um, those negative points do hurt, but um, it gets me mayor, and also, yeah, I'll have to standard project an energy, but I'll do it for corporate stronghold because it's so cheap. Um, Interesting. <clears throat> like, all right, so I'm gonna take greenhouses for sure, and I am gonna take corporate stronghold. It gives me another plant on greenhouses. It gives me a bump of three, and it gives me mayor. Would it be better just to to standard project a city? It would cost me 25, and this would cost me 22, but I get a bump of three as opposed to a bump of one. I think Stronghold's better. I'm gonna take the Stronghold. And the Builder Guy's already there, I think. So a lot of what I do this turn depends on what the Mining Guild player does. If he plays a city, then I'm gonna be highly incentivized to to get this stronghold down and claim mayor, I do go before him next turn. So that helps me decide what's going to happen. Well, standard city is cheaper. It's actually not because stronghold's 11 and standard project energy is 11. So that's 22. Standard project city is 25. But with uh, corporate stronghold, I get a bump of three to my economy, whereas I only get a bump of one with standard project city. So I actually think it's. I mean, I lose two points, um, but what I'm really trying to do is carve out territory. Like, I, what I want to do is put that city here, because then I've got all of these spots here to lay greeneries on, and it can get pretty tight quickly. Okay, that's not going to be enough for him to claim to claim mayor. Or um, Gardener, you can't compete with me yet on Gardener. So I think I kind of want to slow roll this turn and just see what everybody's doing. Man, it'd be really, really, I hope this guy plays that event card that's like Ocean Heat. 
that, that came around because I, I really like my entire hand unlocks with an ocean. Yeah. Rover construction. Okay. Well, he didn't do it. Um, I could play greenhouses insects and just bide my time. Or do I just standard project an ocean? I think I'm just standard projecting an ocean. Because if I do 18, I still have enough to play moss and insects. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Twenty one cash now, so I can play moss and insects. That's seventeen. If I do that, then I'll be at six four and then this bumps me three I'll be at 13 and then I can play two in a row next turn to get that heat bump if nobody does it so I like that If he's got a city card, he can he can get mayor this turn. But I think if he had that, he would have already built a city. Uh, I might be able to. I'm going to play him out one at a time. Obviously, I want to hold on to greenhouses for as long as I can. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, he didn't hit me. I guess he hit Mining Guild, okay, good. Um, yeah, no, I agree, I, I, I do agree with you. I'm gonna play Moss. Now, let's see here. So there's one, two, three cities on the board. So I could get my, my, my number up to nine. It's not, not there where I need it to be if I played um, greenhouses. Um, I'm curious what this guy is going to do. Um, all right, let's see here. So if we go 
Well, so the other thing, Orst, is that I'm thinking, based on what I'm what I've got going on right now, if I play insects right now, um, next turn I'll be able to double bump the oxygen. I can play um, a plant here. Uh, well, now I won't be able to do that. I did pass him that one and that one. That is unfortunate for me. Um, so let's see here. So six, seven, eight, nine. My tags are at three. So I, if I'm at six, 12, 13, yeah, I'm one short, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. I guess if somebody plays an ocean tile, I'll be hooked up. Um, if we're almost to bushes too. If I play greenhouses, this is nine, this is 15. I could just sell, I could sell security fleets. So I'm at 15, I have 13, I need two more cash. I could sell security fleet and Olympus conference. I don't think conference is coming down in this game. Actually, maybe better just sell colony ship. I don't think I'm playing that. I've got two tags. This guy's kind of staving off stuff here. I think I'm going to go. Yeah, OK, let's go ahead and sell security fleet. I'm definitely not playing that. Just gonna see what these guys are doing here. So if I, let's see here. So if I play, I really wanna see if this guy's gonna play a city. Cause then greenhouse give me another, another plant. I'd like to get this heat bump if I can. So I'm going to I'm going to sell colony ship. And then maybe I'll go greenhouses insects. I horse I don't want to play a greenery tile to the board cuz I want to get this heat bump. And I think that if I if I set it up right, I should be able to get it. These guys still have a lot of cash. He's only got four cards, so there's a limit to how much he can actually effectively use this steel. And it, also, the other thing is that if he bumps the heat, I might be able to get bushes going and, and delay insects one more turn and get a bump of five, which would be pretty nice. So let's just see how it goes. I don't think that's a mistake, Horst. I think I think your your play is a good one. Um, and basically, I'm doing exactly what you said. I'm just uh, instead of playing it here, I'm just selling cards so that I don't have to play that tile. But I, I basically, I, I think your idea is spot on. Um, also, if if for some if if out of some, okay, we're getting close to the negative ten on bushes now. So I'm going to go ahead and play greenhouses and then pass. If somebody else bumps the heat, let's see, that would put me at 
six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see here. So this is going to be three, nine, play one, gets me to 10. I'm still short, unfortunately. I think it's just going to be greenhouses, insects, the next turn is going to be bushes. And I think it's still worth it because if I delay insects, I lose four green greenery production for that turn. Fuel factory. So that guy's already at enough to get. Oh, he's going to have to clean that soon because the Phobolog player is going to be there soon. Planner, Mayor, and Terraformer are all. Let's see what he does here. They're probably wondering why I played that right then. That's more of a late game card. Okay, so he takes Builder. I'm gonna play Insects and pass. I would still like to get to Stronghold. I may have enough money next turn to do it. trying to think of combinations of cards that could prevent me from getting Gardener. Like if this guy, I don't think there is one. I mean, I guess if he had like Protected Valley and I think it'd be tough because he needs two, he needs two of them. Interesting game so far. Um, all right, I'm gonna play insects here. So that gives me enough to do the bubble, the double bump next turn. Although my, my priority is going to be, if I can, to finagle a way to get to Mayor. My guess is that the Mining Guild player, I, I mean, it, it would make a lot of sense for him to have a city in hand right now and just play it out of steel. Um, in which case, I mean, he in, in which case he played it great. And I, I just don't, I mean, I don't have a lot of way to combat that. I guess um, if that were the case... I don't think there's any way I could stop him because he'll have enough actions next turn to go before me before I can raise the ener my energy level and get Corporate Stronghold down and buy that milestone. Okay, he passed. Great. So I will pass as well. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's make sure. So if I yeah if I play this, I get one. I'm just still I'm still way too off. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that oxygen bump. Well, the fact that he did not play a city means that I think I should be able to get mayor because I can I can bump my energy play. Yeah, he's only got one, so I think I think I should be able to get mayor. So let's see here. Um, 
Oh man, Electro Catapult is sweet. Noctis Farming. I think it's gotta be Catapult. I don't have the energy for it, but like I can't, I'm passing, let's see here, even down, I'm passing to Mining Guild, so either way that I do it, I hook up Mining Guild. This gives him two, because he's got all this stuff. I can't pass him Catapult though, I think in, in the end Catapult's just much better. All right, you can have, um, you can have uh, Noctis Farming. Um, really what I want is energy. I don't need any of these things. I guess I just take Indentured Worker. If somebody wants to spend money to search for cards, that's fine with me. Man, I've been really, really deprived of energy this whole game. That's been a big problem. One more card to look at this generation. Mining rights or cartel? I don't need cartel at all. Honestly, I don't really even need mining rights. But that's like a, fr again, a free card for mining guild. I probably should just claim landlord too pretty soon. I know that this guy's a little close right now, but I. I feel like I should have the engine to beat him. Oh, not great. Um, man, am I gonna have to just concede mayor? Guy's got a lot of cash. If I took indentured worker, it just gives me five cash. It's basically five cash for a, a point. Would that make a difference? Honestly, it might be worth it. At this point, cash is so important for me. So let's see here. If I wanted to play heat bump or energy stronghold I mean, maybe I just don't play stronghold at this point the negative two points at gen 8 maybe I just play maybe I just play city mayor can I do city mayor gardener this turn let's see if I do if I buy a city 25. I play Gardener is 33 and um, and then Mayor is 41. But I will get some cash back when I play Plant. So if I go Mayor, Plant, Plant, or I'm sorry, if I go City, Plant, Plant, Yeah, I think I'm taking workers, and I think I'm going to buy a city. So if I go city, I go city mayor. Do I have enough to do that now? 25. Oh, shoot. I, I forgot to factor in the price of the card. I will get a little bit of cash back here when I play a plant, and I can play another plant here to get more cash back. So let's see here. So 25. So 25. I'll have exactly enough to go mayor. Oh, hmm. 
I won't though because mayor doesn't. I don't. I can't use indentured workers on mayor. Yeah, I probably should not have bought that card. Nonetheless, I think I have to. If this does open me up for some hate, but urbanized area and this guy are already gone. So I go mayor. I think I just buy a city and claim mayor. Then I'm going to get, let's see here. Yeah, buying this indentured workers was a mistake. Yeah, this, this was a mistake. I should not have done that. Yeah, and if I had just, hmm, I still would have been one short for claiming Gardner anyway. What What is nice, though, is that I think I will be able to get bushes down this turn because I can use this to play bushes. So it's not a total loss. So I'm going to play, I'll play these two. I'm going to get the double bump here right now, which would be nice. And then I only need two cash. And then if this, and then it really forces this guy to use his resources weirdly to try and get Gardner. And he may not even be able to do it. Like if he has to buy a plant, if he has Protected Valley, then he can do it. But if... Um, and there's definitely a way you could get Gardner. Yeah, I don't think I played that turn very well. I think I think maybe what I should have done is Okay, well that gives me more plants too. And actually, that's really nice for me that he hits this guy's plants because wait, he hit my plants. How is that possible? That's pretty annoying. Um, okay, well that's annoying. That must be a bug. There's nothing I can do about that. I mean, that's that's really frustrating though. Like if this if this miner guy is now able to get Gardner because of that, it'll be that'd be super annoying.
Do you guys know? Like, there must be a bug on protected Habs. That's super annoying. Hmm. All right, well, there's nothing I can do about that. I guess I can go, I'm gonna go indentured workers bushes now. I would have been able to play another plant right now, too. That's super annoying. All right, so I'll sell Stronghold. Well, I still might play it, honestly. It's still a cheap city. Um, Nah, I probably won't. What if I get another city? Let's see here. Maybe here. I would love to move into all these double plant areas as well. Like if I get another city, I might just want to play a city over here and just claim this area. Um, I know this guy took, uh, he took that uh, Noctis farming, which puts him at six. So I don't think there's another way he can get a, a, a free plant. I guess he could. Yeah, there's not an obvious thing for him. Yeah, I didn't play that turn very well, unfortunately. If I lose this game, I feel like that that could be that could be the thing that cost it for me. Um, like I had the time there where I could have bumped energy. Yeah, that's gonna give him the plants he needs. Cause he's gonna go Noctis farming now. Interesting capital. Okay, so he won't have it. Okay, I'm cool with that. So what I'm gonna do is just jump over here if I can get another city going. Interesting. So he did have mayor. So I'm, I'm, or he may have been thinking about that because he could play this all out of steel. Yeah. So he still has 26. So I'm glad I, I, I think I could have probably played that turn better, but I, I think it's going to work out for me. Um, I lead off next turn, so my first move next turn can be to claim Gardener. And I'm going to be able to get Artificial Lake down next turn, too. That will be good. I'll probably just dump it over here next to one of these cities. Uh, 
Yeah, it's super frustrating because like if he, so now he's gonna play Noctis Farming. Yeah, God, I may I may lose Gardner this turn, all because of protected Habs. I'm playing this game under protest. He's at 28 now, so he's five cash off. Yeah, so he's five cash off. He's got six cards. He's probably not going to sell all six. If he's got... Um, he also could have had the card that, that you spend five heat for four plants. That won't quite get him there. Yeah, if he gets that milestone, I'm probably losing. That's pretty that's pretty frustrating. I guess I would just take landlord next turn. I did get mayor, yeah, but uh, there's a bug in the game on protected Habs. Hey Q, what's up? Um, not yet. I was going to, but uh, I might lose it now because uh, because of a bug on protected Habs that let this guy, he might be able to get in on it. I didn't realize that there... Um, apparently, protected habitats does not work. <laughs> Man, that's bull. That's BS. That's super frustrating. I think I'm gonna lose now because uh, So, right, I got to refocus here. That's frustrating, but I got to I got to get back in it. So I'm passing up. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll fill you in in a minute, Q. Um, question is, do we want EOS? 
I am going to want another city. I don't really want to play Stronghold. Stronghold is good over here, though, because it's going to give me another... An, a whole other plant. I guess it comes out as a wash, because this is going to gain me a plant, but it's negative two points. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's just for territory control because I'm generating so many plants. I'm going to need places to put... Uh, like, having a city here is going to get me an extra three points. Four, potentially. Because um, I'm going to run out of places to place them over here. I need another city. And I guess the question is... If I'm going to do that, I would need solar wind power. I agree, it doesn't really seem worth it. Alright, I'm going to take EOS then. Wow, that's really frustrating. That, that really cost me, the uh, protected Habs thing. Um, okay, so imported hydrogen. I definitely don't need plantation. Who am I pass? I'm passing to he uh, this guy. He's got the. He's got. Um, I'm gonna take imported hydrogen because he's got. Uh, what's it? That card. Uh, the one that lets you get heat and uh, money for playing event space events, arrow breaking. All right, so we're past that. I'll take mineral deposit. All right, I'm going to start by taking mayor, or uh, landlord. Sorry, um, I'm not super well positioned for the other ones. I mean, banker, I'm ahead on, but it's really super risky. So I'll start by taking landlord and at least get that for cheap. I think I will take EOS. I mean, it's... Get the greenery. Yeah, uh-huh. You want to get EOS? And the question is, do I take imported hydrogen? I don't think so, because I think I'd rather... Um, well... I, I, the the mineral deposit I'll keep because of artificial lake. Question is, do I want this one? I guess I do. I mean, it's pretty good. It gives me five plants. Yeah, I do want to draw an animal card. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play this one, actually, because I think there's going to be a heat bump here. I have artificial lake already. That's going to be seven. All it takes is one person. I'm not going to take imported hydrogen. I'd rather play trees anyway. I'm going to keep those two. All right, I'm going to start by taking landlord. And I'm going to skip. If these guys hit my plants again with a card, I'm just going to quit. <laughs> so annoying. That's a that's a huge swing in this game, that that gardener. I'm I'm totally tilting on that right now because that he would not have had enough money to to do it if he had to buy him outright. And the only reason he was able to do that was that he had those four plants that were sitting there. Okay, Q, let me catch you up. All right, so here's my production. Um, for VP, these are the, my cards in hand. My goal is to play trees and artificial lake this turn. Um, and uh, I've got one of the milestones. 
Um, yeah, but it changes the sequence, Orst, because he didn't. He what he did is he played, he played Noctis Farming, which gave him enough to play a plant out of his hand out of here. And if he hadn't had that, he wouldn't have been able to do it. All right, if this guy takes my plants, I'm just quitting. Who played that? Was that Demos down? Okay, so that guy did not hit my plants. Um, Six, let's see here, so. I wanna get this lake down because there could be other cards. Um, so I think I'm gonna drop this lake right here. Actually, if I play a lake here, I could play a plant here and just get six cash back. It's not terrible. Although then it just opens up another spot over here for a city. Um, let's go mineral deposit. Let's play this lake. Um, I think I just want to play it here, take a point from him. So I'm gonna play trees. So I can play I can play two plants this turn, which I'm gonna do that next, um, just to make sure that I I get as much of this oxygen points as I can. Mm. Maybe I should have played those. Uh, All right, I'd like to get these two last bumps on, on the points here, so hopefully hopefully this guy does not play um, a plant. I don't think he will. I mean, this game's gonna end quickly. Could it end this turn? It's possible. He's got a heat bump. This guy has two heat bumps and I have two oxygen bumps. Oh, there's not an, all, all the oceans aren't played out. Okay, so it's gonna go one more round. Um, so yeah, I'll draw this card over here next just to see if I get something to place this animal on. And then I'll probably just play trees. That gets me six more plants by itself. Yeah, I think that that milestone is going to prove decisive. I think that that's going to be the difference in the game. Um, it's pretty frustrating, but I don't think I've lost a game for that reason before. 
symbiotic fungus that does nothing. So if I'm planning to play trees, that'll be 13. I leave me with four cash. And if I play a thing here, that leave me with 10. But um, I can't really do anything with that, so I'm just gonna get the point. I think every point's gonna matter here at this at this stage of the game. I guess I could just play here, although it creates a city spot. Play it here. Okay. So my next play will be trees. And yeah, I'll just play street. I'll, I'll just play trees. If I build if I build up here, it gives me another slot for a um, Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure yet. Um, all right, let's take a look at these. Banker, that's too close. Scientist is pretty close. Thermalist, I'm nowhere near. And Miner, I'm nowhere near. Um, I think Mining Guild is going to claim Mayor. which is bad for me. I guess the Phobolog player, what could Phobolog do? I don't think uh, Phobolog is really, what I think I'm gonna need is for like the Phobolog guy to fund something that I can get second in, but he's not really, he's not really there. Um, Olympus Conference will be nice uh, protection to, or to try and get second on scientists potentially if this guy goes that route. Okay, he took the heat trapping. And put it on animals. Okay. This guy's got a lot of points, but he's just locked out of milestones and awards right now. Yeah, I agree, Q. I think that I, I think though that this this ten point swing on this on this milestone is going to be decisive. I'm, I may be wrong. I mean, it, it's possible the mining guild player just has me by by more, but he's we're kind of even on VP. Uh, he's up plus five on milestones. Um, he's up nine on TR, 
and I'm up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm up by four on plants, and then he's got two, five, and I've got three, four, four. So yeah, it's pretty. I think it's pretty close right now. Um, but that that milestone is going to be extremely decisive. I think. It's unfortunate. But we'll see. Um, we shall see. I do think it would be in my best interest to get another city down because it's going to double all the points that I get. I have two more slots for plants, and I think I'm going to have more than that. Um, All right, well, gene repair, I like gene repair just as an ability to, um, yeah, I do. I have, uh, I've got Olympus Conference sitting in my hand. I like gene repair, it's cheap. I mean, Asteroid's okay too, but I don't really want to pay for it. Um, sabotage is interesting. Yeah, I think I'll probably take it. I uh, might be able to, might be able to use that. I guess the other option would have been to take energy to make, uh, um, I only have one power tag. Yeah. I think it's too late for Heather. I don't have any energy. I'll just pass that along if they want to use that. Ooh, fuel generators. I'm gonna take gene repair for sure. Question is, do I wanna play corporate stronghold? If I play fuel generators, that's four, and then corporate stronghold, that's uh, cost me 15. It saves me a little bit of money. What do you think, Q? Should I take generators and, and play Stronghold? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know, because like, look at I have t I've already got um, I've got two plants. I've got two more coming. Like if I if I play Stronghold here, I'm gonna get more points out of it. I could just buy a city, of course. Um, yeah, I'd probably just buy the city. So I'll just keep Gene Repair. I'm not going to play Sabotage. Let's see here. I don't think I'm going to play Sabotage. Yeah, I'm just going to take Gene Repair. Okay, we'll see what happens. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking I want to play a city here. City, plant, plant, plant. I can use the steel to play Eos. Yeah, I think right here, right? You're thinking city here. <laughs> you guys don't like EOS? Two greeneries. Oh yeah, right here. Okay, I got you. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. I mean, another option is I could play it here. Play a plant here. This gives me six, seven, eight cash back. I could play a city, eight cash, and then play another plant here. That's a lot of cash back. Um, what do you guys think about city here? Because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go city, plant, plant. That's ten cash. That's twelve cash back. That might let me play Eos.
Yeah. It makes conference free. On the other hand, if I play one here, I get four cash back with a plant here. Four, five, six. So it's not it's not as much as I thought. Um, thing about playing a city here is that is that I get the plant here, which lets me play another plant this generation. Um, I don't know, that's a tough call. If I go city, plant, plant, what if I go city, plant, no. If I go city, plant, plant, this gives me five plants and I'm gonna end up with Yeah, he takes minor, which is really bad for me. Um, all right, lava flows. I don't know, what do you think, you? Should I go here or here? We've got 45, but the thing is, Q, I'm, I'm short one plant to play my second greenery tile this turn. So if I go plant, if I go city, plant, plant, I can do that this generation. Yeah. 32, which would then let us go 10, 12, that costs 22, I'll leave us 10, we're still a little short to play EOS. Um, Yeah. Thermalist. I don't have any effects. Oh my gosh, this guy takes my plants. God, he took my plants again. Ugh. That's right, I do have algae, I forgot about that. Ugh. All right, well, I think we just need to go max points. Actually, if I play a city here, yeah, it doesn't even matter anymore. All right, I'm playing it up here. We need the points. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna play this thing now since they're taking my plants. I can't afford to have that hit again. That's super frustrating. All right, so then I'm gonna play Strong or Olympus Conference Gene Repair. Yeah, I got totally boned on these awards too, because these are uh, I'm I'm not second place in either of these. I think this is going to come down to that milestone. It's very frustrating. I don't know. I guess it's possible this guy just beats me in the clear anyway. He does. He is uh, generating a lot of he, a big gap in our. Uh, um,
in our uh, TR rating. I'm not sure anymore. Um, two oceans have to come down. I think it's in my best interest if the game goes longer because I have just a lot of plant production uh, and I've got I've got three more points out of hand. Um, I think next turn I just play another city and try and soak up all these tiles if I can. Not much. He's got six, and I've got six, so we're even on VP. So this guy does have enough to buy two ocean tiles to end it. Um, all right, so let's see here. If I play, okay. God, it's so annoying that guy took my plants. I'm gonna get four more plants out of, uh, okay, well, I, I don't have to, um, I'm gonna get four more plants out of Oceans, which gives me another placement. Then I'll get another placement, and I can pick up the two plants here to play my last one. So right now I have three more plants coming down. So I can play Olympus Conference here. All right, let's see here. If he plays another ocean, I'll play gene repair, draw a card. Mass converter. We got four. All right, well, let's look at this. So, how many points do I have on the board? Three, seven, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 points on the board right now. And I'm gonna have an additional 24, 25, 25. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's still winning though. Let's see here. Cause he's gonna pick up Two points on Landlord. So right now he's scheduled to get five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's plus five, he's 14. Yeah, I think he's gonna get me by just a little bit. Well, 
That's frustrating, but I think I would have had that one if protected halves had worked. Yep. Like I said, I that uh, I think that thing was going to be decis decisive. I am going to sell. Well, I'm not going to sell any of these. I guess I'll just sell symbiotic fungus. Well, let me see here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need this for anything. I already have a microbe tag in case I got uh, um, what's that uh, advanced uh, ecosystems or something like that. But I, I'm already missing the plant. I think if this goes another generation, it's actually to my benefit. This guy has three cards in hand, so he's he's likely to strand that steel. I'll sell Stronghold next, but I, I think I want to keep those other cards in case these guys don't, in case these guys don't end the game. Let's see, if he plays another, if he plays those oceans, if I have a chance, yeah, there's no way I'm still short on cash. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like the game probably will end this turn. I don't think this guy's in the picture. I think he's too far out. I'm going to go and sell uh, corporate. I could be wrong about that. I mean, he's got 22 points, but... Uh, on cards, but he's just got no board presence, no milestones. Um, he's going to win Thermalist and second in Miner, so he'll get seven. Um, Phobolog just bought it with a event card. So I think it's probably, it probably is going to end this generation. So 
So I'm trying to decide here if I have, I'm gonna have, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna have 18, 19, 20 plants. So I'll play one, two, three, or actually one, two, three. That'll generate me another five points. Just depends on what this guy has here at this point in his hand. All right. Guy's got three cards. There can't be that many decisions here. I don't know how many actions he's got left. Okay, he did have the last one. That is unfortunate. That's a good play. Um, all right, well, I can still pick up that plant over here. I don't have to give him a point. I can still pick it up here. So let's see here. So I've got... I'm a, 20 so this is 21 if I pick up this guy here and then I can play boom boom and this is just a one pointer yeah I played underground city but the game's over now all right so I need to pick up one more plant. There's no way I can do it without... Uh... I mean, I could also just sell cards and, and wait. Well, let's see here. I'm going to pick up six, seven. Yeah, there's no way I can get to EOS. God, this is such BS, man. Like, he got... He'd have been six plants down. He wouldn't have been able to chain these together. Yeah, that's that's so annoying. Like, the thing about playing the city here is that it also protects people from doing exactly what he's doing here. Yeah, he's going to win by three to four. This, this is so annoying. God, like, protected Habs not working just completely screwed me in this game. No, but if I played, if I had played that city down here, he wouldn't have been able to. Ch like he picked up two, two, and so he's picked up four plants here. Like any any sequence in there that breaks that chain. So now he's gonna get seven and five is twelve. Um, I guess he get one more. Yeah, I mean, I could have played the city here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm still just tilted on this protected Habs, man. I'm going to lose this game because of that. It's so annoying. Um... All right, well, I'll sell these cards.
Right, which is why Gardner, I mean, a 10-point swing on Gardner is just such a big difference, you know? Like, that's the thing. All right, so I just need max points here and money, I guess, just for backup. Yep. Well, what can you do? Um, Q, you you called it. Uh, well, I guess it was six in the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, I was poorly positioned for awards. Um, and there, and that was just a function of the way I played the game. So that that's something I could have done better, perhaps. But um, and the mining guild player did that well because he was able to get second on on all that stuff. Um, and the and the Phobolog player, there 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 was no way that he could have claimed an award that would have helped me. I, that was not like he definitely played to his best advantage. Um, so there was nothing really um, I could have done differently there. I think, but that that Gardner milestone was was the difference. Um, the game would have been exactly eighty three seventy seven or seventy eight. I did. I had to pass two generations in the beginning. I'm not sure I played that correctly. Um, Q, 
it would be... Uh, that's true. That's true. That's a good point, Q. Um, that is a good point. Although the protected habs also cost me six plants. Uh, like I should have had six more plants myself, which would have been another greenery tile, which would have been another two points. So, um, you know, yeah, I think it's a 10 point swing and I mean, I mean, if you're playing, if you're playing a ground game strategy, like I, I feel like you have to get two milestones. Like I, I just think it's so important to get that. And um, maybe I could have played it differently. Like I also made a mistake that turn. Um, like if I hadn't taken, you weren't watching Q, but the way I played it, had I, let me think, if, would this have made a difference? So I bought uh, indentured workforce planning to play corporate stronghold and then instead I played I just bought a standard project city but that difference cost me the cash that I would have needed um, to claim I think I'd have to go back and look at it but I think that cost me the option of, of, of claiming both of those milestones in that turn so if I hadn't bought uh, corporate or uh, indentured workforce I think I could have standard project uh, a power used indentured workforce to play corporate stronghold and gotten mayor and gardener in that same turn I think I could have done all that and so then you know that might have been a miscalculation on my point but I, I kind of looked at what he had and I just didn't think he was gonna have enough cash to, to play uh, two more plants and claim the milestone that turn, which is what he did. Um, so, you know, whatever, what are you, you going to do? But it was a fun game. I don't play eco land very much. I'm not sure I played it that well. I'm sure I made some mistakes in the beginning. Um, but um, anyway, um, all right, well, I don't have time for another game. Uh, Q, if you want to play a game, I'll jump on with you for a little bit. Uh, I'll Skype with you if you want to stream. But I, I have to. Leave. I have a dinner at seven thirty. I have to go. Oh, it's one a.m. Okay, perfect. So you don't. You're not. You're not working this weekend. So it's the perfect time to start a game. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, no problem, Q. Um, do you want to try and uh, do you want to try and stream this weekend sometime, Q? Okay. All right. Well, um, that's that's fine. Well, maybe another time. And uh, hope I hope everybody enjoyed that one. I thought that was a fun game. Uh, I kind of got tilted there a little bit because of that. Uh, uh, my dinner's at 7.30 uh, my time, so in a couple hours. Um, so I don't think I'd have enough time to start it because it, um, sometimes the games go late. But um, that, was a fun, that was a fun match. I'll, I'll try and post that one. I've got a few queued up right now uh, to post onto the YouTube channel, so this one may not hit for a while. But I, don't, I have not played Ecoline very much, so I will, I will post this one. Um, and then I'll try and work on strategies for not tilting so uh not tilting so much no i can't make it here because it's kind of a business dinner and i need to do some preparation for it as well um i have to go over some figures and things like that so um i won't i won't be able to just play and then head over but um yeah anyway uh for those of you uh watching now thanks for for checking in um i will probably be streaming at some other point this weekend so um uh, maybe you can catch me then and I will I will see you next time